John chapter 1, verse 16. For from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. This verse is tying back to verse 14. We had a, a parenthetical statement in verse 15 about John the Baptist, but this is tying back to the, the verse before that. That said, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus is bringing grace. The gospel is about grace. Grace being this unmerited, unearned, undeserved favor from the Lord. Now, I, I've heard it said so many times the old testament is about judgment and the new testament is about grace no the whole thing is about grace if that were the case when adam and eve sinned there would be no grace extended from god they would have been dead done it would have been over even as the people of god continued to reject the lord he continued to show his grace he continued to to draw them to himself and so we have this book of grace in the Old Testament and a book of grace in the New Testament. And so together we see grace upon grace. The other thing to think about in this odd statement, grace upon grace, is that it's just, it's, it's just grace piled on in abundance. Jesus is bringing this abundance. When you think you've, you've, you've uh, reached the depths of this thing, Jesus will continue to offer even more grace. He's bringing you his grace to draw him to yourself. Now, it's important that we remember grace is not infinite. It's not unlimited. At some point, this grace will end and we will stand before God in judgment. Will we have the one who gives life and who gives us the right to be a child of God? Will his grace be upon us because we have uh, called out to him as our Lord and Savior as we read? Or will we stand in judgment? I would encourage that you rest in this grace upon grace today.